The NHL is on the way back and we couldn't be more excited here at Z Code System. Guys, welcome to the latest video here on YouTube or if you're checking us out on the Z Code System website and blog, welcome back. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about the NHL and its upcoming return and what that means for all the fans and punters out there who are excited to see some ice hockey this summer. Now the NHL has stated it will return Coming soon, no definitive date yet set as the NHL Players Association and uh, and the NHL must continue to talk and put protocols into place, uh, but they haven't hammered out an exact date just yet, but they hope to have that for us very soon with dates hopefully starting in July and going through August. So that is some exciting news and we will see a 24 team playoff tournament coming up in the NHL. Guys, we love having you here at Z Code System, and we hope you are enjoying the sports that have come back, which is mostly soccer in Europe, and we hope you're enjoying those uh, tournaments and games going on. And of course, you can always go over to Z Code System to get your picks and predictions there, and to see our weekly blogs, and to use the tools to help you make educated bets on all of the soccer going on in these leagues that have returned. But today we are going to be talking about the NHL. And before I go any further, I just want to uh, draw your attention to that little uh, thumbs up down there. If you like what you hear, give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to the Z Code System channel so you can get updates every time we post a video here on the YouTube page. And uh, we'll direct you over also to the blog so you can check out the latest blogs that we post there. So, as I said before, the NHL is returning and they are going straight into a 24-team playoff tournament. And uh, this is going to be an exciting time. They're going to be updating or uh, increasing, I should say, the playoff format from 16 teams up to 24 teams just for this season only. But, you know, as I've been thinking with um, the situation that the coronavirus has given us, we could see the NHL and possibly the NBA, if the NBA returns, we could see them adapt some of these um, interesting tweaks, if you will, for the future and uh, to possibly draw more fan interest. So could we see a uh, an increase in the overall teams that make the playoffs? Absolutely, we could see that in the future. As a fan of ice hockey and basketball and other sports, would I want to see more teams make the playoffs? Absolutely not, because that devalues a regular season. But I digress because, again, we're talking about an abnormal situation at the moment. So the 1920 season, as you can see, all statistics have been frozen. Get it? Ice hockey. Uh, have been frozen and uh, all conference standings have been frozen as of March 11. So in all intents and purposes, the regular season is completely over, according to Gary Bettman this week during an interview that he conducted. So we are going straight into those playoffs. If you're one of those teams who is not of the top 24 uh, in the NHL, well, then I'm sorry, you are not making the playoffs. Now, interestingly, of the 31 teams that um, voted or the 31 teams that voted for the season to continue in the playoffs to happen, only two voted against that from taking place, one being the Carolina Hurricanes, the other being the Tampa Bay Lightning. And the interesting thing about the Tampa Bay Lightning is they are um, a team that a lot of sports books are putting their stock behind in going all the way to win the Stanley Cup. And one of the better teams overall this year during the NHL regular season before it was frozen in March. So we're going to look at a 2014 format, as I said earlier, increasing from 16 teams. And we have four potential hub cities where games will take place. Chicago, Columbus, Dallas, Edmonton, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Minneapolis, Pittsburgh, Toronto, and Vancouver are all being considered at the moment. Now, there could be a problem with the uh, Canadian cities selected as there is a quarantine, a mandatory quarantine that the Canadian government has installed. So that could keep the NHL from selecting cities in Canada. Uh, perhaps they could get at least one there, uh, one of those being a hub city. Uh, but who knows at the moment as things continue to be ironed out. As I said earlier, the NHL executives have to still speak with the NHL Players Association to iron out how the protocol for safety will be done. And um, until that happens, there is no firm date 
on training camps and a resumption of this season and uh, the start of the playoffs. So um, how is this going to work? Well, uh, reading through ESB and they did their best to um, describe how this was work, but you know what? This is going to be a bit of a confusing uh, situation. And I think some fans may be left in the dark as the playoffs go on. But as you can see there, the top four teams in each conference rate by points percentage, Boston, Tampa Bay, Washington, uh, Philadelphia in the East, St. Louis, Colorado, Vegas, and Dallas in the West, they will play separate round robin tournaments to determine the seeding in the first round. And so they will be played with regular season overtime and shootout rules. So we're going to see those Eastern teams and the Western teams just play a group, uh, a group of games, uh, three games each. And we will see how the, uh, the seeding comes after those. So those will be the one through four seeding. So the team that comes on top will obviously be the first seed there in the East uh, and all the way down and vice versa. Now, I say, are you confused yet? Because the remaining 16 teams in the that have made these this 24 team playoff format will be seeded by conference, and uh, they will play a best of five play in series. So these games will be played with playoff overtime rules, and these play in series will be determ uh, will determine which teams advance to a traditional 16 team Stanley Cup playoff bracket. So. Once we get past this round robin format and this best of five play in series, we're going to get to a traditional Stanley Cup playoffs. So once we get past this first part, this first play in stage, everything is going to be normal and we can all breathe a sigh of relief that the Stanley Cup playoffs will be played and no one will be confused, right? Okay, that sounds good to me because, uh, you know, this first part seems, you know, a bit unnecessary to me. Uh, and they could have just cut things down to the actual 16-team Stanley Cup playoffs, frozen everything on March 11th, and just continued from there. But, you know, the NHL wanted to throw a bit of a spanner in the works and uh, to tweak that. And also, you know, there's a lot of money at stake for the NHL and these teams, so why not add the play-in series? Now, that's great for all of us punters out there because there's more ice hockey to bet on. A best-of-five play-in series, you have potentially five games per series to wager on. So, that's good for us, yeah? Okay. Now, the sportsbook's favorites going into this 24-team uh, format playoff. Uh, we got Boston on top and the Lightning. And again, remember, the Lightning did vote against uh, resuming the season, which is quite interesting because they are one of the favorites to lift the Stanley Cup. But as we can see there, Vegas, Colorado, St. Louis, the reigning Stanley Cup champions, and the Capitals, Flyers, and Stars all making up that top tier of the sportsbooks' favorites. Now, of course, I love me. Uh, excuse me. I love the uh, Edmonton Oilers. That's my team, so that's who I'm going to be uh, betting on here. You know, I'm going to just be doing a, a little bit of a fan interest bet there, as I'm sure a lot of us do. We always like to put a little bit of money down on our favorite teams, just a wee bit, um, while we put the smart money behind maybe one of these other teams that we think actually will win the Stanley Cup or whatever it is the sport that we wager on. So. That's uh, our sports books favorites going into this. Now, I had a look at my favorite online sports books, uh, sports book that is uh, earlier today, Bet365. There's other sports books out there. You know, choose your favorite. Uh, but I looked at my favorite sports book, and there were no NHL odds up uh, at the moment. That will possibly come back soon. Um, but you might see this going to your favorite online sports book. You might see that some of these latest odds for the Stanley Cup are not up yet. But when a solid date is back with the NBA, uh, sorry, with the NHL, then perhaps we will see more sports books posting those uh, those odds for the Stanley Cup. Now, guys, I want to address your attention real quickly before we go today over to Z Code System to the ZCodeSystem.com backslash apps page where you can find the latest uh, line reversal app. It's all new and you can use that to get the latest lines on the games coming up. And these are reversals. So you can see where the smart money is going for the games that you select. So when the NHL playoffs come up, this is a great tool to use uh, whenever you want to wager on the games. And you can put that right on your smartphone, your iPhone or your Samsung phone and you can get that information right away, and then you can make your bet 
on that handy dandy app for your sports book on your smartphone. So be sure to go over there, check out the line reversal app and all the other apps that we have over there from Z code system. Now guys, I hope you're enjoying the sports that we have come that have come back, uh, including uh, all the soccer that is going on. I know I'm loving it. Uh, all those games are going on in Germany and uh, it looks like Spain and England are going to be starting up very soon uh, in June and uh, we'll get to see some uh, the finish of those seasons. Now, also, don't forget that boxing is coming back in the UK. July is the month that boxing has been uh, has been ID, uh, identified to come back. And in June, boxing will return in the US with Top Rank having weekly bouts going on in Las Vegas, aired on ESPN. So you can check those out and make great wages there. And of course, there's also horse racing and esports that is tearing it up right now. So don't forget to go over to, e, uh, to Z Code System, check out all the tools, and get all of the information you need there to make smart, educated wagers. Guys, like this video, please, and subscribe to Z Code System to get the latest updates. Let us know in the comments what you want to see next and what you're wagering on this weekend. Good luck, guys. We'll see you soon, and we can't wait until the puck drops on that 24 play uh, that 24 team format NHL playoff. We'll see you soon, guys. Good luck.